Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our 34th installment of Tango Kilo Sierra. So today we're in just a uh, patch of woods. It's going to rain for the next five days. So uh, I need to do some research on where I'm going to go because as of right now, the pole is uh, sitting at, uh, I think, um, the uh, a patch of woods near a busy road winning. And I'm going to find a patch of woods near the interstate and uh, camp that out, maybe find a billboard or something fun to uh, get that done. But I very well can't do that when I don't know those woods while it's raining and uh, you know, all that other stuff. I, I just gotta go out there and be out there for a minute and just get a general feel of the land. But uh, we're here in Cody's Woods where we do all of our fun friend videos and stuff, you know, just hanging out and you know, having a couple of brews. And that's what the plan is for tonight. I haven't figured out what we're gonna eat for dinner yet, but uh, I'm gonna go retrieve that from the wherever. I might get a pizza delivered out here, just do something fun like that, you know, just something odd and out of this world. But we'll see what goes here in just a bit. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go over here, get camp set up, get the duffel bag pulled out, and I've got something I'm gonna review for you that's uh, from Academy Sports that is, that is pretty cool. I'm gonna give it a test tonight. Really uh, give it a run for its money and see what's going on. We got a good buddy there setting up the thermocell. What's up? Glad he's back for another installment with us. And we got this tarp for the night. And then uh, we were able to uh, buy us another little bit smaller camouflage tarp. But uh, over here is what we're gonna be setting up later as far as the tent goes this was around forty dollars thirty eight dollars and some change so around closer to forty dollars and uh it's just a little one man freaking backpacking tent that weighs all of about maybe two pounds at the most we're gonna set that up i'm gonna sleep in that and see how it turns out and then uh we're gonna have a couple brews find out what we're gonna eat for dinner like i said we'll see y'all guys just in a bit all right everybody that brings us to the uh, next segment. This right here is for you. Anybody who's liked and subscribed, thank you. We really appreciate it. it makes us feel good about well, what we do here. Anybody who hasn't liked and subscribed, please consider doing so. Also, there's a link at the bottom of the video in the description to my gear fund. If you uh, wanna buy me some cool gear or you know just wanna see me buy a few beers, you know, give what you can. Even if it's just a like and subscribe, we appreciate it. But uh, this right here is for you guys. Cheers, everyone. Cheers, everybody. All right. See y'all when we set the tent up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to setting up our tent. What we got here is a tent that's made by Magellan. It's a one-man tent, and it's uh, supposed to be a pretty quick setup. It comes with a rain fly and everything. It says it features simple two-pole configuration. It keeps tent lightweight and compact and covered entry and attached rain fly for rain protection. Mesh roof for when you don't need it in the rain, which we're gonna use the rain fly tonight. And it's uh, about eight feet in length and uh, increased for increased comfort and storage, which is the main reason we bought it was for storage. So we're gonna break into here and uh, see what uh, all is in store for us. Gotta so keep the bag handy for later use. Comes in this cardboard box here. It's taped on each end. Key. Bust one end open. See what we can see. Get a good handful. It's usually pretty good in these. Alright, so that box will go in the trash. We'll make sure to get that out of here. Pack it in, pack it out like you always know. Get this untied, put those to the side. All right, so we got all this busted out. Roll out this tin here, it came in with this built-in rain fly. I really don't like the color of this. It looks kind of like neon green. Maybe it's for going out hunting or something like that and making sure that people can see it. But as far as stealth camping goes, I might have to find some spray paint or something because that's pretty bright. But 
we got 11 stakes, 10 stakes here. Then bust this off of here. We've got our one solid pole. And then this looks like a uh, little door, the door stick there. And that all comes in one solid piece also. So we've got all that. Let me get this rolled out here. So it's kind of like a bivy. If you've ever seen what a bivy sack looks like. Right off the bat, material's pretty decent. Seems like it could keep some rain out. And the footprint tarp isn't so bad either. These straps, pretty goodly, pretty decently sewn in here. Be pretty hard to rip, so I like how they stitch that into the tarp. It's gonna be nice. But uh, get this rolled out. And uh, see where we start putting our tent stakes in at. Yes, rainfall, kind of thin, it's built in. So, uh, there goes the door also, so that one goes back. Usually, on a tent, like this, you find where a little sleeves are to run this big stake through. What I'm seeing is just clips. So, we're going to lay this across it, and just start clipping it in. So, I do not see a sleeve to run these, uh, so we'll pull face through. So, we get this, we get a tent here, so we can come up with it. Rainfall is very confusing, as far as how you're supposed to put the tent pull through it. So that's right off the back hard. So a quick setup of this particular tent. It's almost like there's any room to it either. Let's find that other end, right here. That's got these on it. I need some help on me now. I can my hand I'm not actually going to tell you that it's not right. I don't think. Let's hope not. Well then, we are going to uh, stare at this picture really intently. This came with no instructions. Alright, so we found the instructions. First step of the instructions is to lay this out flat and stake it down. I figured with all the instructions we can't get quite awry. Let's take this out of here, Cody, if you don't mind, bud. There's two over here, buddy. All right. So we got that done. Still got two here. Now. So you gotta stick the bottom first before you do anything. Next, it says to run the pole over the top, put in the canopy, and then uh, shows us running another pole over the top there. So we're gonna get that done. In this picture, as you can see, it's got the gray one running square over the top, the one that Cody has in his hands right now. So that's what we're gonna do with it. Nope, one click that. See? Makes sense because there's no way for the rain fly to pull over it. Let's do it this way. Make sure it makes it to the next one next way. Okay. It's usually supposed to be a one-man setup, but 
we're gonna take some teamwork today and get this done up right. Ooh. Really hangs up a lot. I'm not sure where it's hung up at right now. I know where it is. Hold on, oh, it's, it's broken. Yeah, yeah. All right, hold on through a little bit. Yeah, there you go. All right, right. so. There you go. Pull that stake back. Yep, there you go. Ugh. All right. Now, here we go. Hang on, hang on. Pull this up back. I gotta clip these. Gotta go over the top of it. I have to clip these first. Oh yeah, true. So clip the tent before you put there, the rain fly on. on. Huh? It is, I think there's one. Like. What? Hmm. There has to be a hole somewhere. Or something it goes through. See holders. I don't see no hole though. Hmm. Yeah, one man set up quick. This is definitely not ideal for. Let's look. So we read the instructions a little bit, like some smart dudes. And now that holds. Gotta let this come over here, Casey. This little pocket here. So the that little pocket there that goes down into here. And then rain fly pulls back. So as far as quick setup and visibility, I rate this $40 tent. Yeah, I'd say about a three out of ten because it's very visible. And it's uh once you set it up once i'm sure it gets easier to set up but it's pretty hard to would be hard to set up to uh do some stealth camps with but that's okay because uh at least we're not trying to be stealthy tonight we came out here and tested this this is going to be good for we go to the pool for our uh some of our anniversary videos here soon so ain't nothing to trip over oh, let's see we gotta clip them back here cody look Bam. See? I don't have a clip on mine. Where's, oh, oh okay, yeah, I see what you mean. All right, so, good buddy, you wanna hand us those uh, two stakes right there? Thank you. Here you go, Cody. Well, do you stake it then? You pull it this way? To the side, yeah. Huh? To the like side. That's what I'm saying. What do you stake it with? Like, there's no hole. You tie it around the stake. You tie it around the stake? Yeah. All right. So I've always done. It's worked out. Especially on, like, for our lake so videos we're, we're going to do around Cody's yeah. birthday like we did last year. We're going to uh, probably use this tent a good bit because this will prevent me from freaking having to get cuddled by somebody when they're super drunk. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Ain't Cody, Cody. Cody is, is a drunk cuddler. Nah, yeah, we're gonna have to let Cody sleep in here. He'll end up in a bush. Yeah, this is a one mer one person it's tent. Actually real yeah. for Cody. That's right. I don't know for the price wise, it might be a little harder to set up, but it's really not a bad tent. It's not a bad tent at all. I would purchase one for myself if I, like I'm just going camping. Yeah, for sure. Just like a state park camp or something cool. Yeah, this is actually all right. All right, so let's to Deer take you into my MTV. All right, hold on. Let's take you into my MTV cribs. All right, so we got this set up. Have us a sip here. Tink. Set it down right there for now. Hopefully, we won't kick it over. 
find the zipper. That's a pretty spacious little tent. And it has no zipper at the bottom, which I like because I've had these one-man tents before. And uh, that is always a good uh, thing to have is that zipped off so where you can just zip it at the top. But uh, I'm going to let a good buddy get on in there for some good cinematics. It's a pretty good tent. I'm about to hop in here. See how it goes. All right. Okay. Ugh. I'd probably sleep with my head towards the door, like so. Just so I could have easy access to get out and take a whiz or anything. But I'm about six foot tall, and uh, this fits me just fine. Pretty decent. It's going to be a good sleep tonight. Got a little moss bed that we're on top of, so that's going to be fun. Ugh. Beer me, blazer. For you guys. Got the tent set up. This is going to be fun. Here, show how your, show how it looks with your backpack in it. With like some gear and you in it. Do some fun. gear here. Can go on each side. What we got going on out there, Cody? So Cody just put the camo netting that uh, Tango has. That's awesome. It we should. Mean, it kind of helps with the wrap. color. Yep. That's pretty old. Yeah, we can get you some new burlap. I've yeah. had that for a while. All right, I'm going to hop on out of here. That'd be nice. Show you how easy it is to crawl out of here, guys. Just get out of here. As long as you don't take your camo net with you. Ooh, that stabbed you in the back pretty hard. Jesus. Hope I didn't break it. But, uh... Actually, ain't too bad. Go show you from the trail here. Still pretty visible. We need to get some of that stuff that you put up in a deer stand. That's uh, pretty sun bleached too because we've had it for a while. But it'll work for today. Good future stuff. But yeah, that's home for the night. Pretty decent little tent. I like it. All right, guys. I'm gonna buy me one for forty dollars. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Put that up at Watchery it like we did the other day. It doesn't matter hunting wise. You can get a burlap sack that they make at Walmart. That it would really work. I mean, it, yeah, they're cheap too. They're like $10. That's faded pretty hard too. That lasted a summer and a freaking yeah. winter. We can get a new one. All right, guys. We'll see you back in just a bit. Just to show you, just a reference. Cody is six foot five, and that dude fits in there just perfectly. It's too <laughs> tall for a cot. But it's just right. I feel like this says it's a one person tent, but I feel like you could freaking put a second person to. in there. Let me see. Like if you had to, like if it was real cold. Me and Cody are about yeah, the same. Yeah, uh, Cody and a uh, good buddy here are about the same size, so they're going to hop in there real fast. Yeah. You definitely. It'd be good. a little tight with our gear, but. With the gear, it'd be a little really. rough. You can make it work, I think. Yeah. You can definitely fit some gear here on the yeah. side. If it was if it was real like cold or raining real hard, yeah. Yeah, there's plenty of like headroom and stuff, you know. So as far Yeah. So as far you would be good. I mean, as visibility it sucks, but for the longevity of the room that you have in a dry area, it ain't bad. That right there is freaking you got a book bag in here for forty bucks, that's a lot of room. And I like it's in the shape of a bivy. It's a little harder to like, set up. Your feet are definitely meant to go on the smaller end. You had at the bigger end. And the only thing I really don't like about it is the paracord they put as your string. I mean, that's usually what rain flies come with those, that kind of paracord. After a while, I feel like it'll snap. Yeah, this definitely ain't a, a mountain type thing, but uh, out here in these woods and the pines, we, uh, this wouldn't be too bad, you know. If you had to get in there with a Mr. Buddy here because it was cold, you know, you get two people in there easily. So, that is our Magellan Outdoors freaking tent. I love Magellan. I've got some of their shirts and shorts. I'm wearing a pair of their shorts right now. My buddy here wears some of their clothes. I do. Love Academy Sports. So, this one right here is a, I'll give it overall about a 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10 because of visibility, I give it about 2 out of 10. Because you got to take extra steps to make sure you don't get seen. But uh, as far as the room and the uh, ability to uh, have such a tall surface where you could put a heater right here, just as long as you left the door cracked, it wouldn't get too hot in there. Or maybe it would, and you'd be able to turn the heater off. It'd be great. So 6 out of 10 on the $40 one-man tent.
from Academy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, the glass we're starting to fog. Tonight, we're gonna do something a little bit uh, different, switch it up. Couldn't think of what I wanted to eat, so uh, got somebody to make it for me. Hopefully, these are correct, you never know. But tonight, we're gonna have McChickens with Big Mac sauce with no lettuce. I got mine too, that's the way the good buddy eats his. Figured, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, let's try it out for the channel. Maybe you guys can try it next. We also got a bag of fries because they tip the bag over. Or tip the fries over in the bag. All right, so we got two of these a piece. And the bag of fries. See how it's all tipped over in there? Good to go. All right, so we'll break into those here in just a second. See if they got our order right. Hopefully they do. Well, yep, looks like they did. A little fart of it, but it works out. Oh, yeah. No, that right there is pretty good. Not overly sauce or nothing either. Just Big Mac sauce and mayonnaise. Pretty good. Good suggestion, good buddy. Pretty good. We'll see you guys. Maybe it's night, night time. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we're inside of our little compact tent here. We're gonna get us some shut eye. Get to bed and uh, get up in the morning and go to work. So, uh, man, I shall see y'all guys in the morning. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, it's about four o'clock. Woke up, couldn't get back to sleep, so I figured might as well get up and get packed up. Maybe I can go get me some shut eye there at home. Sleeping on the ground was a little tough. Broke my cot out, sat outside of my tent here just so I had some storage and stuff like that. But uh, just so y'all know, I stayed the night. Here's my proof. Three fifty-seven. Almost four o'clock. So we're gonna get our tarp packed up and everything down that trail over there. And then we'll say our final goodbyes. Figured I'm only camping out here by myself. Only person schedule I gotta be on is my own, so that's what we're gonna do. But uh, yeah, we'll see y'all guys whenever we get everything finished, broken down. All right, ladies and gentlemen, took me about 20 minutes to fully break camp down, get everything up and at them. We packed it in, we packed it out. You see, it's pretty dark still. But uh, figured we're close to a school and stuff, and uh, it's only the third day of school around here, so definitely want to get out of here before that school uh, traffic gets bad. Get back to my house, maybe catch a shot. Well, definitely catch a shower, maybe an hour or two worth of um, sleep before you know, got to go to work today, but uh. Thank you as always for tuning in everyone. Please stay tuned. The rain kind of stuffed our plans out for uh, this week, but I still figured why not get a video out, you know, even if it's just something small, it's content. But heck yeah everyone, thanks for tuning in. We'll find another great place like this and we'll see you next time.